Well, we've had some excitement this afternoon, but we're going to have some more now because there on the grid, good news, is John Welch in his turbocharged four-wheel drive escort. He's got the oil pipe replaced and it looks all go. But in front of him, there is Erling Jensen, who is driving a very lightweight three and a half litre Rover, which needs to be watched. On the, the extreme right hand side of the grid in the white car, as you look at it, is Pete Dam, the Dutchman in the four wheel drive BMW. Then you see E for Alamarki in the second row. That is the Porsche of European 1985 champion, alongside whom is John Welch. Behind Alamarki, there's young Mark Renison, who is an excellent driver. Rolf Nilsson, the man who won the first British Rally Cross Grand Prix, is also in this race, as is Orjan Varland in the VW Beetle at the back. Renison and Welch must score. Pete Dam gets a superstar. Ernie Jensen does not. Malamarki goes up and John Welch is going to go through into the lead and the first right-hander at Paddock. John Welch has got to score well in this race to qualify for one of the finals has taken the lead. Pete Dam is in second place. Sefo Nittimarki is in... Matty Alamarki is in third position. The European champion and Morgan Marlon is in fourth place in the VW Beatle. Now, the highly experienced John Welch, with some 560 horsepower underneath his right foot, has got to stay where he is to put up a good time, ideally to beat the fastest time we've had in this, these heats, 3 minutes 38.2 by Seppo Nittimarki in the four-wheel drive Porsche. And the fastest time we've had this afternoon is Ole Arneson's 3 minutes 33.3. So, John Welch's target time, 3 minutes 38.2. The four-wheel drive cars have a 5% time penalty, but the first four cars in this race now are four-wheel drivers. The Ford Escort there of John Welch, the BMW of Pete Dam, the Porsche of Alamarki, and the VW Beetle of Orjan Marlin. One lap completed. Two and a half lap race, John Welch leads. You can see his hands working away on the steering wheel. This man from Aldershot, the 1984 British champion, third in the British Championship in 1983, an enormous amount of British and continental success. Welch, 1984 and 85 champion, and he won four out of the six British rounds this year despite which he did not, because of the peculiarities of the scoring system, become British champion. And he's even won an event in Norway, so John Welch deserves to win this one on form alone. And the car, of course, is nothing short of incredible. Four-wheel drive, the Gartrack extract car, the transmission system of which has been adopted by no less an organisation than General Motors, for their new 1986 Opel Cadet rally car. This is the end of that too. John Welch looks as though he's on his way to a great victory with the last half lap to go. Cleans the moisture off the inside of the screen with the back of his glove. And he's now down into the S's. This is a third gear left-hander. He actually drops a cog here for the right-hander. Four-wheel drive up the hill, third gear, fourth gear, 100 miles an hour as he goes into the right-hander at Druids, puts on the handbrake to disconnect the differential and adjust the drive, and he spins! John Welch now, he's already got it into reverse, he's lost first place, he looks as though he could conceivably take second. Or Orchard Varland is up into third place, Matty Alamarki is down to fourth, but despite spinning in the lead, John Welch goes through in second position, a magnificent recovery, but that will, of course, have adversely affected his time and his chance to get into the vital A final for overall victory in the Grand Prix.